Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm in a new studio as you can see behind me. The walls look quite different. I haven't finished decorating just yet. It's been so overwhelming to move to a new place. So for the moment it's just white, a white canvas and some plants behind me. I've been feeling a bit stressed out because of all of this moving obviously. It's taken me a few days to process all the changes. I'm also physically tired of everything so I haven't felt inspired to do anything really. I've been watching some other illustrators on YouTube doing clay designs and I thought that sounded like so much fun. That's something that I used to do a lot when I was a, a little girl. So I bought uh, this clay, uh, it's called Fimo. Apparently it's very soft and easy to use. I've never used it since it's going to be my first time and I thought I'll take you along with me on this ride. I'm going to sketch some ideas of what I want to do with this and then we'll start with the designing. So I just finished doing the sketches. I decided to do some butterflies and some birds and flowers. I was thinking about maybe doing a rabbit but it might be a little bit complex for my first try so we'll see. And also I don't have that much material, I only have this so I'm just going to, to try it out and see. Hi guys, good morning. So uh, yesterday I had to wait for a long time for these pieces to dry and I only had enough clay to make uh, six pieces and small tiny cycle but I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Uh, this is my first time trying out clay. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Many of the pieces look very clunky, but I guess, yeah, it's my first try also. I'm going to paint this uh, using wash, clean and wash. So now I'm going to start painting this.
so I just finished painting. I am quite happy with how it looks. I think I really like the color palette and actually now don't mind that much the clumpiness and the uneven surfaces of the clay. And now I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to apply varnish. So for the varnish, I bought this one. It's the same brand as the clay, Simo. And I'm going to put this on. Maybe I should shake it before I, I start. Okay, here they are. Some of the color bleeded, so like here, you can see that it smudged a little bit. And also, the bird has now a kind of stain on, on the beak. This is quite a funny bird because I didn't know how to put clay here to make the beak. So that's why its beak is a little bit weird. <laughs> But I think it's okay for my first try. Not too bad. Now I have to wait 20 minutes, I think. Yes, I have to wait 20 minutes and then it will be dry. Hi guys, so everything is ready now. The varnish has dried, so you can see how shiny it looks. It only occurred to me yesterday after I put this into the oven that I could have used a product of paper that you used to make biscuits. I cannot remember the name of the the paper but it's a non-sticky paper and I was wondering maybe I'll try next time that I could use that paper to flatten down the shapes so that they don't look so lumpy and they don't have my thumbprints but I actually quite like how everything turned out I think my favorite flower was this one it's now a little bit smudged I think the colors are very neat and I'm quite happy with that. So once everything is completely dry, I'm going to maybe put them on the wall. I think that they will look nice together. I will definitely try doing this again at some point. I'm pretty sure that I have another clay thing somewhere in this studio. It's a good way to be creative and painting. So I'm glad I tried that out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and felt inspired to try clay if you haven't already. If you have any tips for working with clay, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to improve my creations. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.